got Cash Roman who's in the dark, electricity. Uh, well, it's the 40th anniversary of their song Anola Gay. I played the remix a couple of weeks ago and we were due to have Andy McCluskey on of OMD today to talk about the gig that they were doing to support their crew, their road crew and technicians. Um, fortunately, um, that's had to be cancelled because Andy got COVID-19. But what a trooper. I've dragged him uh, to the phone from his home in Merseyside. Hi, Andy. Hello. It's nice to be able to speak to you from a Tier 3 zone. Is that what you're in? Is it? In? Yeah, it is Liverpool. Well, you're yeah. on the Wirral, aren't you? <laughs> we're all part of Greater Merseyside. Yeah. So we're... Uh, we're locked down, yeah. But it's nice to hear your cheery voice. Oh, thanks. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my bit for the country. I'm like, the, I'm like the Vera Lynn. Of <laughs> <laughs> the Vera Lynn of radio. Thing. Except yeah. I won't burst into song, don't worry. So, so you sound a bit um, congested and chesty. I mean, you've, you've, do you think you've been through the worst of it now? Do you know, I have been very lucky. Um, I first had symptoms just over two weeks ago. Uh, I had one day the third day where I felt like I had a really bad flu. I was shivery and shaky and I took to my bed. Next day I went and got a test. Uh, I had to wait three days. It came back positive so I've been isolating. Um, today is the first day that I'm allowed to be back out again and today is the first day that I'm actually feeling like a human being again. I've just had low grade kind of bleh. But you yeah. know what? It's a lottery. You know, it's been a lottery. Some people have it bad, some people have it worse. But the you know, the last few di days have been difficult for us with losing the the concert, and uh, that you know we were trying so hard to keep that there for for our crew and our fans were brilliant to support us, but we just we couldn't take a chance on it. No, we if you're poorly, I mean, uh, I would you, uh, presumably you're not daft. You know, you're a responsible guy. You've got a family, kids. How, how do you think you you, you know, go and wearing your mask and everything? I mean, you say it's a lottery, but. Did you put yourself in jeopardy anywhere, or...? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so, but you know what? Um, because it was entirely legal, um, I think my son's band were round at our house rehearsing. Oh. One of them had a bit of a cough and a splutter. And the next, uh, next thing I know, my son's got something wrong with him. Then I've got a runny nose and a sore throat, and then I get these symptoms. And so I think that... I think it came to our house through the front door right. via a guitarist. Right. Um, but, you listen, we, you know, we've both had mild symptoms. We're okay, and I've got, you know, my sister's been doing my shopping, and we're just hanging on in there. We, we've, we've been very, very lucky, uh, but, you know, we didn't want to go giving it to the crew. No. Didn't want anybody coming to our concert, because we, we had sold 200 tickets to be isolated in groups in the balcony. We just we just didn't want to take a chance, and I, and I hate to say that I think I think things are going to get worse. I think you know this time next week when we should have been playing in London, we, nobody will be travelling anywhere. I think we'll all be in lockdown by this time yeah. next week. I'm sad to say. Well, it is a tragedy for music, live music, but then you've got a personal tragedy because as somebody you've worked with and your career paths have run parallel, a, a friend of yours has actually died hasn't he from the virus yes um this is really strange i mean somebody i've known for years and years and years a guy called hamby harrell ambus who was in a band called hamby and the dance back in the 80s uh, from liverpool he he built the recording studio that i own which uh, used to be the pink museum it was where oasis wrote and recorded supersonic their first single mm. um it's still still going uh we've lost another big studio in Liverpool, but the, the Motor Museum now continues. He uh, has been a good friend of mine. He's done our videos for our visual walls. He's filmed us playing with the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra. He just, he's been a creative catalyst in Liverpool for years, and he's been a great filmmaker, friend and supporter of all sorts of downtrodden people. And I can't believe that he texted me on Wednesday evening, saying, the doctors have given me two days. He'd been in ICU f for two weeks, but I was like, what? What? I texted him back, and then the last thing I just said, you know, sending you all my love and hugs, kisses, and that was...
two days ago, mm. and then I got a text from a friend of his wife last night saying that he'd passed away. Oh, I'm right. very sorry for I'm very sorry for your loss. I really am, and and for all the people who know him. Thank you. I mean, obviously, it, it's it's an immediate family. You know, he's yeah. got a wife and children and grandkids, and that, it's. Um, you know, he's sadly not the only casualty, but obviously I'm feeling a bit numb because he's a personal yeah. friend. But uh, this is why, you know, if we needed an example of why we have to be careful and why we just could not take a chance on our concert despite our best efforts. But, oh, crazy times, yeah, here we are, so celebrating 40 years of Enola Gay. Yeah, you know. we're going to play the original enemy. Yeah. Uh, the, the thing is, though, um, obviously it must be... Um, the, the reason you were doing the gig, the virtual gig, uh, uh, was to help um, the other guys behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And there's a, a website now where yourself and the likes of Alice Cooper are all trying to explain why it's so important to support live music um, whilst whilst recognising the dangers and to try and get it back as soon as we can safely. Um, because um, the people behind the scenes just self out they're self employed and um they're not on these schemes are they no this is the great dilemma is that um a lot of the people who are the technical staff um and the technical uh equipment providers the rental companies um they're independent they're all self employed and they've fallen through the cracks in all these furlough schemes um so finally, you know, after supporting the, the Red Alert events a couple of months ago, we just decided to put our money where our mouth was, and we, we, we're going to be playing at the Indigo uh, in London. And, uh, you know, it wasn't, I mean, it, there was our 10 crew that we were hoping to make a profit for, because, you know, many of these people have been with us for a very long time. They are our friends and our family. You see four people in OMD on stage, mm. but, you know, you know, and a lot of other people know, but many people don't, that we're just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. There's literally dozens of other people, not just our crew who travel with us, but there's, there's drivers, there's venue crew, there's catering staff, there's Security. everybody. So, you yeah. know, we were renting a venue, renting a PA and lights. I think we were employing over 30 people in and around the venue for several days, plus our own crew for three days. And you know, <laughs> we had to stump up a few bob to guarantee that it was going to happen, but it was worth doing it. And we, we had just, you know, we'd gone into profit. We were like, yep, yeah, great, this is going to work out. There's going to be money to share with everybody. And then a week before it, we just had to kind of bite the bullet and say, it's too dangerous. Well, I'm glad you said that because a lot of people, when I've been tweeting about this matter, a lot of people have been trolling back and saying, Liz, you're talking about multimillionaires who've been, you know, selling piles of albums for years. Why don't they just put their hands in their pockets? So you actually did. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's great. Now, tell me, um, what, uh, what do you miss most then? Um, I'm sure it's that camaraderie as well as looking yeah. at the whites of the... Eyes of the fans, I'm sure that just being a being a group touring round and having a drink and having a chat and as somebody somebody in a band said to me, just being with your bandmates and laughing till your sides ache and stuff. That's what you miss, isn't it? I mean, we all miss things about work, but that's about being in a band, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you are very often you are travelling with the band and the crew on a bus or sleeping in bunks. It's like being yeah. a submarine crew. Yeah. You're in this together, you know. There's and no escape stinks. from each other. <laughs> You've, yeah, well, yeah, the, 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 all, with all the good things and the bad things that might go with. But, you know, it, it's... Um, so, yeah, these, these are the people who you, you know, you love, you live and you die with. And it's sometimes, you know, but people think, oh, well, you know, you're the band and you live in luxury and the crew are the mm -hmm. lackeys. But, you know, we're all in this together. There's a chain and you break one link and the whole thing falls down. Mm -hmm. You all need each other. These people are incredibly skilled people who've learned their livelihood jobs by being on the job. Yeah. You can't, they, don't, they don't teach this at university. And they're not people who just push boxes around. No, they're, not, they're not just the guy. technicians who really operate some state-of-the-art stuff, yeah. you know? They, and they know all the bits, how to pack them, how to put them back together. Then oh. It's not just the guy with his bum hanging out, uh, yeah. going two, two, two. <laughs> Andy, I'm going to have to go, else we'll get a chance to play any of the music that oh, we love right. so well, much. Lovely to speak to yeah. you. And, and, and uh, can I just say before I go, 
We've had to say we're postponing this till next year. Can I say a huge thank you to every single person who said, keep my money, we'll see you when you do yeah, it again. Yeah, keep it floating. OK. Brilliant. Well, all the best. And let us know when. And um, here's Anola Gay, the original from OMD. All the best. Get better, thank won't you? you. Bye. Bye.